Hi there, Panina Peterson from The Savings Room and today I'm just sharing some tips on how to move house on the cheap and some of my best tips for surviving the day. So let's go. Tip number one, start culling all your junk and decluttering at least two months before the move. This way, on the day of the move, you're not going to be cleaning while you're moving. Tip number two, when looking for a house, view the house before the inspection. It's a pretty competitive market out there. You want to get in and get in quick. So view the house before the inspection. If it looks like it's going to be a house that you might want to move into, submit your application or have it ready online so that once you've inspected the house, you can come home, click a button and, you're in, and your application has been sent off. Tip number three, and this is my biggest tip. I thought of this one this week because my husband and I are probably moving house soon. This is my big tip for moving house and saving thousands of dollars on a removal list. Firstly, hire a truck which will cost you a couple of hundred dollars. And secondly, when you know what your moving date is, go down to the gym and put up a notice that says, wanted three strong fit people, make money while you work out and hire three strong people from the gym they love working out and they love getting paid for it and have them come over to your house on the day of the move and give them a workout give them twenty dollars an hour or however much you want to pay them get the job done and it's going to save you thousands on a removal list tip number four when moving house always move your bed first and make it early on in the piece because at the end of a moving day when you are exhausted the last thing you're going to want to do is make your bed so it'll be ready for you to fall into at the end of the day. Tip number five, organize dinner early. I recommend takeout, fish and chips, easy. If you don't want to do takeout, pre-make some dinner because the night of the move you're gonna to want to be hungry and you're going to want to just sit down and eat and just carry on. So get dinner organized, freezer food, whatever you have to do. I recommend fish and chips, the best option on a move day. Tip number six, always leave a few days in lieu when moving. You need a couple of days or a day at the end of a move to clean the old house. There is nothing worse than having to go back at the end of a very long move and spend time cleaning when you're exhausted. So leave a day or two so you can go back and clean at your leisure. Tip number seven, get a good night's sleep. You absolutely must go to bed early the night before so you can get up at the crack of dawn, get going and get that move finished by three o'clock so you can all crack a beer or a wine, sit down, relax. Try and get to bed early. Tip number eight, big tip, organize someone to take the kids. Moving with kids is hell. I can vouch for that. I've moved several times with newborn babies and I've had people not turn up who are gonna help me and I've just, it's a nightmare. So organize someone reliable to turn up on the day, grab the kids, take them for the day so that you can just focus on moving. Tip number nine, take as much of the small fiddly stuff to the house prior to the move. Things that you can put in your car like, you know, uh, boxes of books, like pitch, small picture frames, anything small that's easy to move, take that stuff over so on the day you've only got to deal with the big stuff. And finally, tip number ten, start collecting boxes from the supermarket early, a couple of months before, so you've got them all ready to go, and then over that period of time, you can just start putting things in boxes and slowly getting that move organized. Well, that's all from me today. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the room. Bye.